Good afternoon and welcome everyone. Uh, I would like to begin by thanking you all for this wonderful invitation. I've had a chance to meet your faculty, members of your administration, and a special thank you to Dr. Maria Diaz de la Cabosa, who invited me here two years ago. But because of the pandemic, I couldn't come until now. So maybe it's a blessing that this happened at this time. We are thrilled to be here. I commend you, students, for persevering in a world of flux. And I commend you for taking the road that is often not taken. You chose a different path, pursuing a degree based on the American higher education model. But above all, you chose CIS and Endicott. Today is one of the many celebratory days in your life, but it is also a moment to stop and reflect. These past few years, you've been confronted with extraordinary circumstances few have known or could have anticipated. When you first arrived, you knew, no doubt, that you would be challenged academically. And maybe you even anticipated being stretched a bit socially. But what has been asked of you these past several years has been so much more than that. As we learned in the pandemic, sometimes a pause, a break in the routine of life is a blessing. Sometimes it is necessary and sometimes a pause to look back, to look ahead, and to self-reflect is the road less taken. Self-reflection and looking inward are necessary to becoming better humans, to connecting with others. When you're able to be curious about yourself, important and fundamental questions arise. Who am I? Whom am I becoming? What is important to me? Should I answer that phone call or not? <laughs> and what do I want in life? So today, tomorrow, this weekend, take some time to contemplate what you have accomplished, what you have experienced and endured during the last years and your life up to this point? What skills did you draw upon to get you to this moment? What hard-fought lessons did you gain along the way? And how have those shaped you and what you want from life? It is a strange irony in life that through struggle, we often find the strength to persevere. And persevere you have, class of 2022. These days, our world moves fast, and it is only moving faster. The world demanded that you balance getting an education with the stressors of an ongoing pandemic. Now, as you graduate, you may already feel the pressure of the world demanding that you have everything all figured out. Soon, you may feel pressure to move from one milestone to another in that familiar trajectory we know all too well. Get a job, a marriage, a family, a promotion, a house, and so on and so on. But you, class of 22, follow the beat of your own drum. No one is going to tell you what's next on your agenda except you. But remember to pace yourself. Remember that sometimes you cannot have it all. I know that this contradicts what we have come to expect from life, that we are the exception, that we can have it all. But this is life's challenge, isn't it? Balance, staying afloat, maintaining composure when life's frustrations mount, when the bad news of the world becomes too much, when we feel overwhelmed with questions and answers seem far away. When that happens, say to yourself, 
Maybe I can't have it all right now, but I can have something. And you fill in that blank. Whatever that something is, remind yourself of what you have, which is quite a lot. Today not only serves as the official completion of your academic achievement, but it marks the day you have been entrusted with a valuable asset, your entire CIS and Endicott experience. Throughout your life, remember the friendships you made here, the professors who challenged you, the laughter over churros and chocolate, the travels you pursued, and all the adventures you partook in. All of this, your own unique CIS and Endicott story is now part of your story. Let it inform your days. Let it enlighten your engagement with others and let it inspire your efforts to be a force for good wherever the next chapter leads you. And remember that now, more than ever, risk, innovation, and unconventional thinking are needed to move our world into new and uncharted directions. I can only imagine what roads you will go down next, what adventures will mark your life as you take a new next step with your degree in hand. So remember how far you've come and always be kind to yourself. May the road ahead be filled with all good things. Congratulations, class of 2022.